Hi guys, so today I have my cloth nappy haul video for you, finally. Um, so I've bought a huge amount of cloth nappies already for baby girl and I just wanted to show you exactly what I have bought and why. So here we go. So this is in no particular order, it's not the order that I bought them in. Um, I've just been buying them and putting them into a huge bucket, clear plastic bucket, um, just so that I have them in the one place. Um, so I'm just grabbing them from the top. Um, yeah, so the first one that I have for you is the Bum Genius Organic Elemental Cloth Nappy. And it's an all-in-one and one size fits most. Um, so it's a really lovely looking nappy and I love that it is organic. It's got the snaps um, and it's got snaps to rise at the front so you can make it bigger or smaller. Um, so yeah, it's really lovely inside. Uh, nice and soft. It's got two layers in there and just a PUL backing. So it's not actually attached to the PUL. Um, which is pretty different for all-in-ones. Usually they're all just sewn in there together. Um, but yeah, everybody raves about this particular nappy. So I'm pretty excited to use that one. The next ones that I have are an Australian favourite. Um, everybody just loves them so much here. Um, they are the Itty Bitties. So this one is a Bitty Delish all-in-one size medium and it's just so soft. I really, really like it. Um, so it doesn't have the snaps at the front because it is a sized nappy. So there's only the option to really go out when your baby gets a bit chunkier. Um, and then it's got a layer sewn in here and then an extra layer on top. And it has little snaps so you can actually snap in more absorbency if you'd like. And um, so I got that same nappy in a small, and it's very cute. Everybody likes these in the size because they're quite trim, and they are pretty little, um, but they're very absorbent, apparently, so um, that's nice. And then I also got a snap-in one, and this one is different to the other two. Um, so... That's what it looks like on the inside. Actually has a trifold at the bottom. So you need to fold that one up. And then I think this one goes over the top. I still need to learn how to use all of these nappies. It's a bit full on because I have brought so many different brands, but I just wanted lots of different brands so I could choose exactly which ones I liked the best. Um, and then again, it's got the little snaps so you can put in extra absorbency if you need it. Um, so they're lovely. They're so soft. I think they're really, really cute. <laughs> I've also bought just one snappy. Um, I need to buy a couple more of these, but these are for pre-folds, um, just to keep them on. If I want baby just to wear a pre-fold with no nappy cover for a little while, um, just around the house. Uh, so, yeah, I should buy a few more snappies. Now, this one I actually won on Facebook, which is really, really awesome. I was very surprised. So, it is a pea pods, and I've actually already bought a couple of other pea pods, which I will show you in a minute. Um, but this one is really lovely. It's bright yellow, which is so cool. It's a one size, fits all. Um, so... It doesn't have the little snaps that go um, up the front, but it does have an adjustable elastic um, in the side. So apparently that makes it bigger and smaller. Um, so I'll have to work out how to use that. So inside it has a trifold, which is super soft. Really, really lovely. And then another soft little layer on the inside. And it also has a pocket. So you can add more absorbency inside there. And here's the little elastic rise that you can see. So it just says M and L, so I guess medium and large. Yeah, but that was very exciting to win that one. Um, and they also gave me some refreshed strip wash, which will be really great to use. Um, so it says 
Use to maintain nappy performance approximately every three months or if nappies have stopped absorbing. Um, so that will be pretty handy. I've also bought a pail liner. So we will be using just a bin that we bought at Ikea. Um, we'll, it's got a kind of a flip top lid. So I think we'll leave the lid open because apparently that lets the air flow and it just doesn't smell as much as if you have a, the lid closed on it where they're all kind of stewing in there. So this is the liner that goes inside the nappy pail. So this one's huge really really big and it's got this elastic band at the top to put over it so when you put all your dirty nappies into here and you're finished you know filling it up you put this into the wash as well with all of the nappies so that gets cleaned every couple of days along with the nappies um, so I'll actually need to get another pail liner because you don't want to be left without a pail liner with like one in the wash and then nowhere to put your dirty nappies so must get another pail liner I got these nappies, which are called real nappies. Um, they're pre-folds, uh, just for when baby's really little. Um, they're so, so cheap. I just couldn't believe how cheap they were. And they were a little bit daunting at first, but I read a lot of um, reviews and people said, don't be put off by how daunting it seems to use a pre-fold. It's really, really simple. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to watch some YouTube videos on how to use them um, and they'll be a lot nicer when they're all washed and prepped so they'll get a little bit fluffier um, but they are just like this so they've got thin bit on the side here, thin bit on this side and then in the middle it's a lot thicker so that will really fluff up when it's um, washed. So yeah, you just put that into uh, a shell. Um, like a PUL shell and um, pop it on baby and yeah they look pretty easy so we'll give those a go I don't think Louis is very keen to use those he really likes the all-in-ones um, but yeah they might be nice and easy and they're just so cheap so I think that's a really economical way to cloth nappy so I actually splurged and got um, a full price nappy. Everything else I have bought on sale um, or they've been given to me by friends or I've won. So I don't feel too bad about buying so many. This one was a bit naughty. I did, I did pay full price, but it was just so cute and really interesting. Um, so this one is a Rumper Ruse and it's a one size cloth nappy. So um, it's got little inserts that have clips on them that comes with and it's got a whole little diagram about the different soakers that you put into it and how it should fit a newborn, small, medium, large baby. Um, yeah, so this is what it looks like and on the back it's got the little kangaroo. So it does look a little bit different to the other other nappies. It's got all the snaps at the front and then inside this is what it looks like. It's got double gussets which I think is really good to stop poo explosions um, and then this is the pocket that you put the inserts into. So yeah that one's very cute. So these next ones are also another Australian favourite. Um, the store that is really close to me, the nappy store that's close to me, stocks this brand so that's really handy. Um, if we need to just run up and get some more nappies, I'm sure we won't but you know if we really like them maybe we will. Um, so the brand is called Pickapoo which is very cute. Um, so I got these little newborn nappies. They are Velcro at the top. And they've also got the snap risers, so you can make them extra, extra tiny if you want to. And then inside they have a little tongue sewn into them, and then they've got another layer um, sewn right into the backing of the PUL. Um, so they look really lovely. I really like this brand. Um, I actually ordered white ones of these in a sale and they had run out um, so they gave me blue 
which is okay. I don't mind. The other option was purple, and I'm not really a purple fan, so um, yeah, this will be fine. Um, and they've also got the double gusset on the legs for poo explosions. So they're really lovely. Um, and I also got one little nappy cover in the newborn size. So that's just a PUL cover to go over the pre-folds. Um, yeah, and it's also got the double gusset at the side, which is very handy. Another cover that I got is this Happy Heinies in the cow print, which is cute. This is Velcro as well, very noisy Velcro. I'm not sure if I really like Velcro or Snaps better yet. Um, I think it'll just be a trial and error type thing. Um, this has the snaps at the front so you can make it smaller or bigger. And then this is what it looks like inside. Very plasticky, but that's what covers are. And they've got the little washing tabs on the inside as well, so you need to stick those down when you pop this in the wash. Otherwise, it'll just the Velcro will attach to everything in your wash. Now, this was a little set that I got on sale as well. I mean, pretty much everything was on sale, so um, these are fitted nappies. Uh, so they're super soft. They're called Bum Cheeks and a really lovely, lovely fabric. So they've got the snaps at the front and so it's really soft on the inside, very elasticated and then it's got an insert here and it actually has snaps so you can snap this one in and out if you want. And then to go over the top of these, so I got two in a pack with this one little cover. So you put this little cover over the top of those because they don't have a PUL over the outside of them, they're just a fabric. So um, you need the plasticky PUL to go over the top of them. And this is what this cover looks like. So this one doesn't look as fancy as the Pickapoo one with the double gusset, but um, yeah, it's just the one that came with the fitted, so we'll see what that is like. Uh, here is another pea pods. So this one is a one size reusable nappy. So let's take it out of this plastic. So it's got the snaps at the front and no snaps down the bottom. And then this is what it looks like. It's just got kind of fleecy and then it has a tri-folded insert inside and it feels pretty bulky this one but um, it might be pretty useful for heavy wetter. It's also got little snaps at the bottom here so I guess you can clip in another layer of absorbency and then this tri-fold in the middle is so soft really lovely. It's got a different fabric here to here. Yeah. So that one has to be stuffed before you can use it, um, which is okay. It'll be good for winter because we'll be able to wash and dry things more easily but it's just a bit more of an effort <laughs> if you know what I mean you know the all-in-ones are just super easy you just put them on the baby and you take them off and then you wash them um, but these ones you have to stuff them and then put them on the baby and then take out the insert for the wash and then wash two separate things hang two different things and then yeah you have to stuff them again when they are dried so yeah, we'll just see what that is like. This nappy was given to us by a friend. Um, she said that her son had already grown out of it. Um, so it's called Hippie Bottomus and it's another very popular brand in Australia. It's a little bit cheaper than other cloth nappies. Um, so this one is a one size 
and it does look really big, very fleecy and then inside has a fantastic insert which is quite thin but it, you can feel that there's a lot of layers in there so there's a lovely insert and that needs to be stuffed into the nappy as well before you use it. So yes, lovely boy colour for our little girl. <laughs> our friend also gave us a Pikapoo colour. So this one's a bit bigger. It's not the newborn one. Um, I'm not sure what size it is. Maybe it's a one size, because um, it's got the snaps down the front and then the Velcro you can just do to any size. And then again it's got the double gussets to prevent poo explosions. So that's pretty cool. I love getting hand-me-down nappies or free nappies. This one was one of the very first nappies that we bought. I think it was the second lot. Um, so we got this from the nappy lady that is just near us. Um, so it's a little newborn bum genius and it is Velcro. I don't think you can get bum genius newborn with snaps. So that's what it looks like. It's very tiny and that's completely sewn in. So there's no extra flappy bits or inserts or anything. It's just that. And Louis really likes this nappy. It looks so easy to use. Um, and yeah, they are quite expensive though to buy so if we were to buy all of our newborn nappies in this brand it would be super expensive so yeah I just thought we'd get a couple of different types to try out um yeah so that's very cute it also got a couple of different pea pods these are natural lined with a natural bamboo uh, so I got a medium Another medium, a small, and another medium. So I'll show you what they look like inside. They're not the prettiest colour, I have to say. They're a bit ugly. They're kind of like a fawn or a taupe kind of colour. They're just, yeah, not at all pretty, but they were very, very cheap. So that's fine. So they've got the snaps at the front. And then inside is like this velvety fabric, super, super soft and a bit shiny. And then inside is a trifold insert. So yeah, that's what it says, pea pods on it. So these ones will need to be folded and then stuffed before we use them. Um, and it's pretty loose fabric at the top where you stuff them. So hopefully they will stay in. Yes, so I've got quite a few of those. So these are the very first nappies that I ever bought. I bought them when I was only a couple of weeks pregnant. Um, so they are Alva Babies. Um, and this one is the Velcro or Apex. And this one is the Snaps. Um, the Velcro is not really the best. Velcro, I must say. Um, it feels really rough. It's kind of hard to get off. Um, but this is what it looks like on the inside. Um, so it does have a little pocket at the back where you have to get the insert. Um, this Velcro just sticks to everything, so I'm just going to pop the little laundry tabs on. So the little insert looks like that. And so you'll need to stuff these before using them. And I find these really hard to stuff. They're really, really tiny. My hand is way too large for them. So Louise had a go and he just can't even do it at all because his hands are way too large. Um, oh, it's really tricky. Uh, so they're not the best, but they are super, super cheap. So um, for a newborn, they might be okay. I haven't gone crazy and bought too many of them just because I'm not 100% sure about them. I haven't stuffed that very well. <laughs> um, but yeah, so they've got the little, did I say they have the little risers at the front as well? So you can make them a lot smaller if you need to. Um, uh, the Velcro just doesn't feel very nice. It's really rough. 
Um, but that is what they look like. And then I also bought a few different inserts. Um, so these first ones I just saw when I was on, whoops, I just dropped it, but anyway, they're bamboo inserts. So I just got two of these. Um, they've got quite a few layers in them and bamboo is meant to be pretty absorbent. So they're nice and soft, nice little inserts. And then I just got these inserts on eBay um, and these are hemp inserts and they're apparently the most absorbent inserts that you can get um, so they've got a couple of layers in there as well they're pretty big and bulky but um, I think they might be pretty essential if you have a heavy wetter so I uh, got five five of these um, and yeah, they look like they are pretty good. It's like a little voucher for a percentage off next time, which is really nice. So that is my cloth nappy haul. I know it was really, really long, really epic. Um, but oh, I also have um, some other nappies coming soon. I am a member of a Facebook group um, where you can buy and sell cloth nappies um, in Australia. So a lady that was um, in Melbourne was selling 30 Bum Genius. I think they're the 4.5. Bows? I can't remember. They're like pocket nappies. Um, she was selling 30 of them for $100. So I snapped those up and some of the elastics need to be replaced but I looked it up before um, agreeing to buying them and it looks really easy to do that. So um, my mum's going to be coming down next month so I'll get her to help me out with replacing all the elastics on those as well. So yeah, that's all of the nappies that I have so far. Let me know if you have any suggestions or um, tell me to stop buying nappies probably. That's what you should probably do. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and I'll speak to you soon. Okay, bye guys.